here is the white paper for the bbft token they just finished their pre-sale and it was a huge success a lot of people bought this token during the pre-sale but i've got five questions and um, some of the answers to my questions are on this white paper but a few of them are unanswered looking at this white paper so i would love to get answers because um this might help others who would want to get in on this project have a good reason to do so so let's jump right in on this so my first question is the team behind this project who are they this is one of the first questions you have to ask when you're going through the white paper or the wolf paper of any project right so this is very crucial to avoid getting scammed so to answer that question i scroll down to this place and i can see the team behind the project and what interests me is that these guys are real humans they are completely dust okay so that's one good sign for a project like this okay so you want to make sure that um, you're dealing with people we humans okay though sometimes you could have an anonymous team behind a project yet the project might go ahead to still become a successful one right but it's always good to know the team right so my second question is what's their value proposition why am i asking this question because there are thousands of mean coins out there already right and most of them are scams so what new thing are these guys bringing to the table right and then they seem to have that answer for me here okay so if you're asking a similar question so right here they're saying that they're going to develop tools to help web 2.0 organizations easily integrate into web 3.0 right so this is quite innovative right from my point of view if web 2.0 companies migrate to web 3.0 companies they're gonna make use of the web 3.0 decentralized protocol in web 3.0 data is interconnected and uh, decentralized whereas in web 2.0 data is simply not decentralized but uh, stored in centralized repositories right so the world wide web is gravitating towards web 3.0 and um, if there are softwares or tools that could help them easily migrate to web 3.0 that would be quite innovative right now you might be saying ken why is this a good innovation as it's clearly written here well imagine a situation where web 2.0 companies migrate to web 3.0 companies and now being able to automate their transactions through smart contracts in a decentralized manner because they are using the decentralized protocol of web 3.0 wouldn't that be great that would help business all over the world and this is just one of the possibilities okay so i see this right here as a groundbreaking innovation if these guys are actually going to do this actually going to do the developing right because it says here we're going to develop tools to help web 2.0 so my third question is how did the initial token distribution go down right and these are very important questions you should ask whenever you're reading a white paper you don't just go through a white paper without asking some of these relevant questions they're very important so if we come here we can see this data here right so it says very clearly here that they've got a total supply of 10 billion right so the preset token were a total of 1.5 billion out of the 10 billion and then they've got uh, this 1.4 billion that would be in the treasury they've got uh, 700 million tokens for the team members and 20 percent for liquidity and 10 percent for futures hires, right so i don't have any problems with all of these ones but here is where i've got a slight problem they said um let me zoom that in so you can see it, it says our team tokens are locked why 50 percent of all team member tokens are vested right so my question right here is for how long are these team member tokens going to be locked if these guys are dishonest individuals which i think they are not right dumbelli doesn't really look like um, somebody with, with with a questionable character to me this guy right here i've listened to him i think i follow him on twitter he doesn't look like uh, somebody with dishonorable uh, character and of course this other guy here i don't know these ones right 
they are, they are meeting them for the first time from this white paper but um these two individuals here don't look like um individuals with shady character right so my question is please for how long is this going to be locked because that information is not here right we need to know and the reason for this okay i'm not just saying this for the bbft token in case there is any other white paper you are studying and they tell you that team tokens are locked you need to know for how long these tokens are going to be locked because if you don't know and then the token launches and these guys sell their bag of tokens the price could be dumped and you could be right in the middle of a rock pool right so that question is very important my next question is why are the fees so high you can see right here we've got a 16 percent buy tax and then another 16 percent sell tax okay when you're reading a white paper like this and the fees are high but there are no reasonable explanations then you should vote immediately you should take to your heels right but here looking at these explanations i think they are reasonable enough to explain why there is a 16 percent buy tax and um, a 16 percent sell tax okay looking at it a little bit further we can see right here that um, out of the 16 percent buy tax two percent goes to their reward pool another 2% goes to their automated liquidity injection function and then they've got a 9% for reflection and they've got another 3% for tax insurance and legal fees right and also if you come to the 16% sell tax once you sell 2% out of the 16% will go to the reward pool as before another 2% to the liquidity pool as before but now you're going to have a six percent for reflections right it is nine percent for reflections when you are buying right but here when you are selling you're gonna get six percent for reflections i think i love this token and the team behind it and um, personally i would be investing in this and um but this is not investment advice please make sure you do your own due diligence before you jump into tokens like this okay so this right here brings me to my last question it says liquidity injection allocation 34 percent and um if we read this right here it says the fulcrum of our token capability is the ability to perpetually inject liquidity into the platform this requires tokens to remain available to add liquidity pairs we have retained the largest proportional share of tokens to be able to variably add liquidity to the project okay so our ecosystem leverages profits and initiates time-based profits injections to ensure happy charts right wow wonderful statement but this got me thinking a little bit this tells me from my understanding that uh, in the source code of this bbft token there are functions that allow for liquidity injection right so my question now is are there any functions in the source code that allow for the admin to remove liquidity from the pool so the only way we can have an answer to this question is to have a professional audit report so when is there going to be an audit report for this token we would love to get a professional audit report to see if there are any shady functions in the source code of this project of course i heard don bailey talking about the fact that the audit report should be ready before launch and um, they're looking at launching this project on the 5th of this month so there should be an audit report and um, we would want to look at this to see if this can be trusted personally i love this project but these are some of the questions some investors and individuals might be asking i'm not following this project these are honest questions we should ask when we see any project okay it's not just the bbft token any project okay so these questions should be asked so this brings out bees and is your guy ken signing out